37 Ragdoll Cat Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. Cats in general have a tendency to hide signs of weakness or illness, but ragdolls are known to be extremely careful about this. Most ragdoll owners don't even realize that their cat is in pain or discomfort. Number 2. All purebred ragdolls have beautiful blue eyes. Any individual with shades of green or yellow in their eyes is likely just a mix. Number 3. Many people assume that all ragdolls are deaf simply because they have blue eyes. But this is not true. They simply have a higher chance of being deaf if they have a pure white coat along with those blue eyes. Number 4. Another distinguishing feature of ragdolls is the upside-down V-shaped marking on their foreheads. In cat shows, if this marking is not symmetrical, they receive penalties and the absence of marking results in disqualification. Number 5. Ragdolls got their name because they tend to relax and go limp when picked up, just like a ragdoll. Number 6. The breed was created in the 1960s by breeder Ann Baker in Riverside, California. She selectively bred alley cats to develop kittens with a gentle and relaxed temperament and that characteristic tendency to go limp. Number 7. Ann Baker believed that the gentle and docile nature of fragile kittens was due to trauma from their mother Josephine being injured by a car prior to breeding. She also believed that Josephine's genes were fixed through secret university experiments. Both of these hypotheses were clearly wrong. Number 8. To understand the ragdoll's tendency to go limp, Dr. Merrill Mittler of the Stanford University Sleep Laboratory conducted some tests, but he could not find any physiological underpinnings for the behavioral characteristics. Number 9. Some British breeders are concerned about this extreme docility in ragdolls and suggest removing this fluffy trait for the cat's best interests. Number 10. Not all ragdolls are fluffy cuddlers, as some people seem to believe. Some love to be held and will immediately melt into your arms, but others might prefer to have their own space. Number 11. The popular color point variation of the ragdoll is caused by a genetic mutation associated with temperature-sensitive pigment production. This is why they have darker colors on their cooler extremities, like their paws and ears, while other areas are a solid color. Number 12. Ragdolls come in six colors and four patterns, resulting in 24 different color variations. Number 13. Despite all the different possible colors, all ragdoll kittens are born pure white. Their true colors only begin to emerge around two weeks of age and can take as long as three to four years to fully set in. Number 14. Those three to four years aren't just for your ragdoll's coat color development though. That's also the amount of time they usually take to fully mature both physically and mentally. Number 15. According to one ragdoll breeder in Wisconsin, around 2018, the blue bicolor ragdoll had become a status symbol in China. Around this time, Chinese college students studying in the US would often try to bring ragdolls home. Number 16. Ragdolls might just be the only cat breed with their own registry. It's called the International Ragdoll Cat Association or IRCA and it was set up by Ann Baker in 1971 when she trademarked the name Ragdoll. Number 17. The IRCA established exclusive standards for breeding and selling ragdolls, preventing the registration with other cat registries. This had never happened before as most breeders actively seek recognition from major cat registries. Number 18. Over time, Baker's beliefs became more eccentric. She made various claims such as ragdolls being the final connection between aliens and humans and asserted that her cats were immune to fear and pain due to being crossbred with skunk genes. Number 19. In 1975, however, two ragdoll breeders, Denny and Laura Dayton, broke ranks with the IRCA to establish mainstream recognition for the ragdoll. Using an initial breeding pair of IRCA cats, they developed the current ragdoll standard. Number 20. Thanks to the efforts of the Daytons, ragdolls were finally accepted by the Cat Fanciers Association in 1993. Number 21. The IRCA is still in existence, but it is quite small in size, particularly after the unfortunate passing of Ann Baker. The current largest ragdoll cat breed club in the world is the Ragdoll Fanciers Club International. Number 22. Baker's trademark over the ragdoll name, however, was not abandoned until 2006 and the IRCA trademark only lapsed in 2009. Number 23. In 2022, ragdolls were the number one most popular breed in America, according to CFA registrations. They've held this position for four years in a row now. Number 24. During the early 1960s, a breeding pair of ragdolls was brought to the UK to introduce the breed. Following them, eight more cats were imported, solidifying the presence of ragdolls in the UK and earning them official recognition from the governing council of the cat fancy. Number 25. In late 1971, American student Marianne Harbert was gifted a ragdoll cat upon her return to the US after being held captive in China for over three years. This story played a role in popularizing the ragdoll breed. 
Number 26. Ragdolls are among the largest breed of domestic cats alongside breeds like the Maine Coon and the Norwegian Forest Cat. They can weigh as much as 20 pounds and measure 9 to 11 inches tall. Number 27. Pop star Taylor Swift owns a ragdoll cat named Benjamin Button. He first appeared in Taylor's music video for me. Number 28. Lisa, a member of the South Korean girl group Blackpink, is also known to be a huge lover of cats. Of her five felines, two are father and daughter ragdolls named Luca and Lily. Number 29. A study based on sweetest life insured cats found that ragdolls have the lowest survival rate among all cat breeds, with only around 63% living longer than 10 years. The reasons for this disparity and whether it extends beyond Sweden remain uncertain. Number 30. Approximately 30% of ragdoll cats carry a genetic mutation that increases their risk of developing hypertropic cardiomyopathy, which causes thickening of the heart muscle walls. When two ragdolls with this mutation breed, their offspring inherit two copies of the mutation and has the high likelihood of developing the condition. Number 31. Most ragdolls have a good chance of living past 15 years, and some have even reached the age of 20. By providing proper care, you can help ensure that your ragdoll has a long and healthy life. Number 32. Very rarely, cats can be born with two faces, and they're known as Janus cats, named after the Roman god of doors, gates, and transitions, Janus. Interestingly, the world record for the world's longest living Janus cat is held by a ragdoll named Frank and Louis, aka Frank and Louis, who lived a remarkable 15 years despite his complications. Number 33. After British singer Dusty Springfield's death in 1999, a ragdoll cat named Nicholas inherited a life of luxury. Nicholas enjoyed baby food imported from the US, resided in a 7-foot indoor tree house, and fell asleep each night to his late owner's pop hits playing through a stereo system. Number 34. Unlike many other breeds, ragdolls prefer staying closer to the ground and are content observing their surroundings from the sofa or windowsill rather than actively seeking out high shelves or climbing. Number 35. Midtown Manhattan's historic Algonquin Hotel has had feline ambassadors since the 1920s, but the most popular of them was a ragdoll named Matilda III. She reigned in the Algonquin lobby for seven years and was honored with a dedicated book called Matilda the Algonquin Cat. Number 36. American actor and filmmaker Sylvester Stallone and his wife Jennifer Flavin are also proud parents to a ragdoll. And number 37, comedian and podcaster Joe Rogan is also a huge fan of ragdolls, and he owns two of them named Fluffette and Oliver. Alright guys, did any of these facts about ragdolls surprise you? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.